Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. I have for you another $5 find! So, I'm really excited. I have no idea what to expect here, but this is another Hinkler Publishing box set with card and book. So, I found this at five below. I will link down in the description box where you can purchase this should you want to. I'm not affiliated, I'm not sponsored, just want you guys to find what you're looking for. So that being said, we are looking at The Power of the Moon, a book and lunar oracle card set. Harness the power of the moon to increase intuition and well-being. I am here for it. Includes a 64-page book, 26 lunar oracle cards, and an inspirational stone. And like I said, five dollars. So I love me a deal. All right. The moon's magical influence on tides and water has made it a symbol of fertility, regeneration, and wild natural power for thousands of years. Now, with this gorgeous kit, you can discover more about this bewitching celestial body and its natural energy and impact on your own life. Learn how to harness the power of the moon's eight phases for optimal well-being and follow the simple step-by-step -step guides to complete a range of magical projects, including planet or planting a lunar garden and creating a lunar talisman. The 64 page book also explores fascinating lunar facts and legends, moon deities, angels, and animal totems and lunar astrology, numerology, and calendars, including 26 cards featuring lunar affirmations and beautiful photography, as well as a beautiful inspirational stone and the perfect kit for those intrigued by the power of the moon. All right, that was a mouthful. Let's get into it. Literally, I just took off the tape because you guys do not need to see me struggle. All right, put you over there. Here we go. If you're interested in more $5 finds, I will create a playlist and link it up there in the eye for you. That way you guys can take a look at all of the fun stuff. All right, this looks like Opalite. Ooh, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. Is it real? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a Jim's, Jim's Smith, <laughs> but you know, it looks like Opalite. And do I have one in here? Do, 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 do. Yes, this is my Opalite. Pretty gosh darn similar, I'd say. Hmm. All right. Food for thought. Moving on. Let's take a look real fast at this big ginormous book. It is nicely colored. It's Sally Morningstar as the author. We've got phases, both Northern and Southern. Oh my gosh, lots of pretty pictures. Moon facts. Did you know it takes the moon 27.3 days to circle the Earth, but because the Earth and Moon are spinning together at different speeds around the Sun, it actually takes the Moon 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes, and 28 seconds to complete one orbit of the Earth from New Moon to New Moon. Whew, that is a lot. We got some legends and superstitions. <gasps> moon goddesses. Nice. Angel of the Moon. Angel healing. That's really cool. Totems. Wow, okay. You know, this is really cool. Moon and Aries, Taurus. So the whole zodiac here, that's fantastic. Keep going, keep going. Hey, it's $5. I want to see what we actually get for $5. We got the Lunar Wheel of the Year. Fantastic. All right, the phases, the most important part of learning the moon all of the phases and what to do within those phases. Divine Feminine. This is fantastic. I like say that word again, Natasha. Say it again. Um, this is really, really cool, especially since it gives you little um, activities. It gives you just enough information to like want to know more on things, which I really like. Uh, the Moon and Tarot fan. Fantastic. Oh, look, you can make your own lunar tarot. I love, I, okay, so as a child, I, and growing up, loved activity books. I loved, like, diving deep into a subject 
and then like the activity books that went along with it to like really um, immerse myself into whatever I was learning. It was so helpful. So this is really cool. All of the moon crystals. Wow, guys, five dollars, five dollars. And I know you can say, well, you can look it up on the inf on the internet for free. You can Google it. Well, you can, but at the same time, like for five dollars, this this is like all in one spot, and you get a little oracle card with it, oracle deck. So, like the other Hinkler decks that we've seen. This is not the most uh, sturdy of a box, which, you know, for $5, I'm going to keep saying that, is not bad. All right, so this is the back of the cards. It's pretty. The cards are like paper. They are really, really thin, so be careful. Lunar Oracle cards are a tool you can use to connect to the power of the moon. Being aware of the moon's energy will, uh, and how they affect your inner self will allow you to manage your thoughts and emotions and adapt your behaviors to create a personal environment that is in tune with your needs, hopes, and desires. Okay. If you draw the moon in Aquarius card, but the moon is currently in Sagittarius, it was still the card you were meant to choose and will be relevant to you. Okay. And then we have a quick daily read and then seeking spe specific guidance. All right, so we have the phase and then we have um, what the card, you know, is saying about it. So a time is ripe for seeking new opportunities with the new moon. I really like this. So this is definitely something that can help you learn the phases of the moon, like flashcards. I'm here for the flashcards. How fun. So not only can you use it to learn, you can use it as an oracle card. I love this. Okay. How cool. Stress may be an issue during this time. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> oh. I really like this. It gives you the constellation. That is neat. I'm kind of going fast just because I want to get through them and they're kind of similar. And I'm sure you don't want to read every single card right now. If you do, pause the video. All right, totems. So same thing. These are really cute. I am here for the price tag for these though. Okay, just a couple more. Oh, blue moon. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle these and see how this works. There's really not much to split. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not that great to shuffle this way because you don't really have a lot to um, hold on to, but, and I'm shuffling the instruction card. So for me, this would be the way that I would shuffle. But again, you can um, shuffle however you feel comfortable. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can read this moon in Taurus. Because I know that they had um, the stuff in here. Moon in Taurus. Where are you? Here we go. So it says, Now is a time for focusing on finances and practical matters. People with their moon in Taurus are easygoing, relaxed, and generally fun to be with. They appreciate fine art, music, and the creative arts, as well as good food. 
Taurus moons are happy hosts, enjoying entertaining and providing entertainment to friends and family alike. These people are sensationalists with a love of beautiful... <laughs> Read Natasha. With a love of beautiful things. They can, however, have a tendency to get stuck in ritual and routine. They dislike change and may be stubborn and inflexible. Unless, of course, it is their own decision to change. They will not be pushed into anything. Taurus moons are careful with money. Being materialistic, they like to buy good quality products and will work hard to be able to afford them. The moon's message is that life is for enjoying, but... They must guard against becoming addicted to rich and unhealthy foods. A healthy diet is vital for the Taurus moon or their constitution will be weakened. Taurus moons can feel very threatened by any challenges to their family life and will do anything to maintain security. They are sensitive to the opinions of neighbors and the community and they are traditionalists. Their conformist attitudes can sometimes be stifling to those around them. Possessiveness is the greatest challenge that they have to overcome. Above all, Taurus moons are practical and down to earth. They provide a safe environment for children to grow up in, but they need to allow their children to express their true personalities and not what is acceptable or expected of them. Letting their children go is the hardest lesson for Taurus moon parents. Stones, emerald, flower, rose, animal, bull. When the moon is passing through Taurus, be careful with your possessions, ensuring your home is secure if you need to go away. Take care of personal finances and practical matters. When the new moon is in Taurus, it is a good time to begin longer term progress longer term projects that may take a while to come to fruition. So I know that this isn't like the definition of what the card is, but it gives you an idea of like how the moon in Taurus as a personality goes along with the saying here. Now is a time for focusing on finances and practical matters. That's really cool. I, I'm impressed. I am excited to just kind of glance over this and look at what's going on here and see, um, you know, what else I can learn from it. Cause there's a few things in here that I'm interested in, such as the gardening, the lunar gardener, uh, planting it and then making your own little lunar tarot. Like this is really cool. So again, great gift for $5. If you need to like, um, add it into like a stocking or add it on it to addition to whatever you're buying. Great gift. I don't feel like this is anything, um, super, um, you know, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, <laughs> Like, it's not a super game changer. It's not something that, you know, you're, you look at it and go, wow, I've never seen that before. The word escapes me. But you get a fun little stone, and I'm assuming it's an opalite since it doesn't say. Um, you get a nice little booklet, and you get a cute little card set to help you learn, um, at, like, flashcards and use it as an oracle, however you want to use it. I think this is a great, 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 great deal. Um, and I'm excited to just, you know, use it, uh, however I want for $5. Like it's exciting. I I'm always here for a deal. Always, always. So let me know what you think down in the description or down in the comment section below. Um, I'm always excited to hear your thoughts and opinions as these are my thoughts and opinions. So it's interesting to see if we agree or disagree. So with that being said, check out the other $5 finds that I found and the thrift store finds. And with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an update load from me. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.